Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. Well, this one's actually Monday, but we'll still call it Friday. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about some reasons behind putting settings um, in parameters of renderings and sub layouts versus putting them on the content items. And here's what I'm talking about. As developers, we sometimes get carried away with creating fields on our data definition templates in Sitecore and uh, we start specifying things that should really belong in parameter renderings on content items themselves. For instance, let's take this home page. Let's say we need to create a simple landing page with a slideshow and a generic content section which has a title and text. So we're defining, defining our home template and right here as you can see we have title we're defining our text field then we start moving down further and start adding fields like animation style for the carousel perhaps animation delay so those are the things that unfortunately shouldn't be put on content items now those are the things that relate to the how the rule of thumb is we should be putting uh, things that relate to what which is our content that's being displayed on the page on content items themselves and things that relate to how which is how that content is being dis displayed in parameters of renderings and sub layouts. Now parameters come in two flavors and uh, check out my other video of Friday Sacrifice Practices where I talk more about parameter renderings but we have regular key value pairs by default on all renderings and sub layouts that we can use Unfortunately, uh, that's not uh, these parameter renderings aren't that user friendly. So I suggest using uh, parameter rendering templates to make your parameters much more user friendly by using the default set of Sitecore uh, fields for specifying parameters. So again, what goes on content items and how goes into renderings? For instance, in our example of the home page, we should be putting title and text on the home page itself because it's content. However, things that relate to the slideshow first shouldn't belong on the home page template to start with because the carousel component should be reusable. There we shouldn't be tying it to the home page template only, right? We should be able to put it on any landing page we want, not just the, the specific template. That's one and then two, uh, the settings should also be moved with uh, with that component so the settings related to uh, animation delay and uh, animation style should really go into the parameters of the carousel component whether it's rendering or sub layout another example would be using search results rendering I've seen a few cases when developers define the number of search results allowed on the search page on the search page item itself well that's not content that simply relates to the search result uh, component functionality it controls the presentation of the component and again we could put the search results we, we might have multiple search pages we don't know you know we can't predict the future but therefore we want to stay as reasonably flexible as possible by following the separation concerns principle so what we should be doing is putting that setting in the parameters for the search results rendering so hopefully that makes sense. Again, we're putting the what on content items themselves and we're putting the how in the rendering parameters. Uh, another reason uh, for doing that is uh, uh, notice that Sitecore comes with predefined roles. Content author, system administrator, um, there's also developer and designer roles. So some of the thinking, some of the um, things and configurations and settings that were put in place uh, in Sitecore by default uh, relate to those roles. And that's why there's a very good separation uh, of concerns between presentation and content. Sitecore does a great job doing that and we should continue following that standard. Uh, let's say your content author doesn't have anything to do with controlling presentation or how that content is being displayed. However, they still have access to those fields if we put them in the content items instead of settings and renderings. Uh, and vice versa. What if uh, we have 
designers that are responsible for controlling the look and feel of the website. Uh, however, now, how, how do we go about controlling and defining security rights? Uh, it gets a, a bit more complicated um, if we start putting our settings on content items instead of renderings. So hopefully you see the benefit of uh, following the separation of concerns. Again, how goes into rendering parameters and what goes on content items themselves. So if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips like this. Check out CMSBestPractices.com. And I will see you next Friday. Well, actually this Friday. This Friday, this week, we get two um, uh, episodes released. So I'll see you this Friday, guys. Over and out.